My name is Geraldine Anugu, an Enugu Prime Land Investment Guide. I basically help investors and money keepers, that is those that would want to preserve their money over a period of time, to acquire properties, investment-worthy properties here in Enugu State, and massively build wealth in the process. I was a HR before real estate. <laughs> I just brought my skills into the real estate industry. I needed more. I needed to make more money, to offset more bills. I needed to be relevant. Right now, yes, I'm currently on that path. And to be very honest, I haven't seen the much that I'm seeing now in the past. Personally, I ported from a whole different industry into the real estate industry. So um, I kind of have a wide gap. Although I'm working with some of the skills I acquired from my previous industry, choice of industry. So Geraldine before real estate and Geraldine after real estate. Um, one striking difference, I can afford a comfortable life right now. And I may not really be affording it a whole lot for other persons around me, but I can offer help that I wasn't able to offer the Geraldine before now. Yes, right now I can contribute to people's medical care, contribute to this, contribute to that, unlike before. And primarily, they consult me for decision making. So yeah, I like that. <laughs> and, you know, Geraldine before now, I had a limit to network. A lot of times you attract what you are at that time. Right now, I kind of have this broad spectrum when it comes to net professional networking and building relationships. Then I did not know tons of attorneys, contractors, realtors. Right now, I think I have a broad personality, professional personalities in my space. If you're going to learn real estate business, the first thing is make up your mind on your why. Why you have to learn real estate business. Why you want to learn real estate business. My why is the money and it's very valid. I need to foot my bills. I need to live. I mean, look at the economy. So your why should be strong enough as to why you want to go into the real estate industry. So if I'm to advise someone to go into a business right now, that would be in the real estate industry, that is being a realtor. Um, my reason for that is, so you are able to control your time, control the things you do, your activities, while making money, to sort every of the dreams you feel you have that require money to achieve. I did not come into the real estate industry as a realtor from scratch. Um, I came in as, as the operations head at Browdy Global Limited. So, and I focused on my work because, I mean, that is what, pay, what, what was paying my bills at the time. So, I, along the line, I realized that I could no longer foot my bills. I mean, new positions or change of jobs comes with a lot of responsibilities. It just ups the game. And then my mom kept getting ill getting sick and sick and sick and sick. And I wasn't able to afford more of her bills. I mean, give her the kind of medical attention she required. Um, and at that time, my colleagues kept asking me, why don't you be a realtor? Why don't you go into the business and start making sales and start earning, start getting your commissions? Why don't you, why don't you? A lot of why don't you? And to be honest, I don't like camera, but people think I do. I don't like camera, but I woke up one day at about 3 a.m., 2.45, 3 a.m. And then I was, in my usual way, I check my bank statement every night. So I looked at my bank statement again, whether I made expenses or not, I'll still check it. So I looked at my bank statement again and I was like, if you continue like this, in very few days, you're going to have a minus, see if the bank will afford to give you a minus. And I had debts left and right already with the minus. Then I started writing out who and who I was owing and how much. 
and the timeline that I wanted to pay off those debts. And accompanied with that, I needed to move out from my mother's house because it was not affording me to do anything with my life productively. I come back and I'm so angry and tired. So I needed to also find an apartment. So all these things were amounting to some very few millions here and there. And that night in the dark, I took my phone, turned on my flash and I said, hello, my name is Geraldine and I'm a realtor. And I did that for 152 videos. Just that, hello, my name is Geraldine and I'm a realtor. And I think that was how I killed camera shy. I came to work the next day. So as I told my colleague, I was going to start going on inspections with them. So any space that comes up for inspections, whether or not I'm concerned, they should call me. Whatever it is, I was going to do it. And I asked everybody to be on my neck to make sure I do it. I think that was how I started going for inspections, seeing people cash out. I mean, there was this one time I saw a colleague of mine cash out without even actively marketing. Ah, I said no. And I'm here. Wait, how? Okay, 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 what do I do? I did not look anywhere again. I did not look any further. I dived in head first. Yes, um, they call it the emotional cycle of change or the cycle of change. It has affected me severally, yes. I got to a pitfall. I got to a lot of... I, there, there has just been a lot, but here I am today. Rosa Geraldine, seven Enugu in her full glory. <laughs> if you are really in need of whatever business diversification to build your wealth, to just go from a salary earner or just maybe like a low business, an SME owner, real estate is the best bet, the best way to diverse and make money, tons and tons and tons of money. If you want to be a millionaire, it's real estate. So of all places right now, the best of its kind is Realtors.school, where you are held by your hands as a new realtor, as a newbie, and you're walked through the process of being a realtor whilst you're earning commissions on the way, on the side.